Hi guys, this is Diane here from the Design Creative and today I will be showing you how to add Font Awesome to your website. Font Awesome is an icon set built into a typography kit that allows you to use a bunch of icons on your site without using images. Now these icons are customizable, so you can change the size of them, the colors, and even add a little animation if needed. And the cool thing is it's free, easy to use and install on anyone can use it regardless of their level of skill. If you head over to icons, you can see we have over 400 of them from social networking icons, brands, file and web icons, you name it. The great thing about this is we no longer have to go looking at the same icons over and over and over again and we no longer have to insert images or make them tedious sprites again for our rollovers because these icons are easy to style with just CSS. The examples page gives you examples of different classes you can use to manipulate the icons even more. Now, as you can see, we have a tag here of I and a class of FA and another class of FA camera retro. This little bit of code is what we will be using for all of our icons with the FA camera retro changing to whatever our icons is. Now, it's worth having a look at the examples page as you can see the other ways you can implement this in your project. You can download Font Awesome in a number of ways and they are all easy. The first way is to head over to Font Awesome, click on Getting Started and copy and paste this line of code which you would place in the header of your site. If you're a user of Headway Themes then you can paste this in Options, Scripts and paste the code in Head. And if you're not a user of Headway, you can easily download the plugin from the WordPress repository. Have you ever come across a website that has icons in the actual menu and you wanted to replicate that? Well, I did a video before that shows you how to put in custom icons or images into your menu. The way that I am showing you today is a much better and updated version if you have icons which are not custom made but are more generic and, and universal. Step one, first add your pages to your menu. Um, make sure that you save your menu and you allocate your menu to the appropriate location. The next thing you want to do is head over to Font Awesome and select the icons which are relevant to your menus. So for instance, if you have a home menu, you may want to use the home icon. So you would click on the icon and it will give you the exact piece of code that you need to put into your website or onto your menu. Um, make sure that you jot down the code for each of these because we're going to be going to them and inserting these into our menu items. Now we're going to add our code into each menu item, which is very simple. All we do is select the menu item, open it up and put in our code or paste in our code for each one. Now we can save the menu and view it in the browser. As you can see, each icon, as mentioned before, has two classes, the FA class and the FA icon name class. This makes it easy to style all icons or one icon individually if needed. 
To change the styling, we can head over to the design editor and select our CSS editor. So first, let's change the size of our icons. And there, as you can see, we've now changed the size of our icons. Now let's add a little padding to our icons so that they are equally spaced from each other. Now let's change the colour. To attack each icon individually, we can simply add their class to the editor and change each colour separately. To change the hover state, we can add a pseudo class called hover to change how the colours react when someone hovers over it. As you can see, it's easy to style these icons and there are so much more things that we can do with it. So let's have a look at what you can do if you are customising your meta. To customise the meta that displays after each post and make it look more attractive, we can do what we did last time and select the right icons for the meta which is being displayed. Again, we can copy the code and we can edit the meta in Headway the same way. I'm just going to add a break tag here to give it more spacing. Now we can jump into code and add styling to each property as needed. Say if we want to use the icons to help pretty the information we display on our site and possibly use the icons as links. Here I'm going to show you how to make this without any additional plugins and only using one block in Headway. Now let's start by adding a text block and adding some random bits of information. Here I will change this heading to a h1 tag by switching over to the HTML editor. Now I want to add a link to somewhere random. Now let's head over to Font Awesome to select an icon. I have already pre-selected an icon and chose to go with the camera. So I'm just going to copy and paste this code here. And if we go back to Headway and switch out text block to HTML, we can replace the text something with the code from the site. What you'll notice when you switch back to the visual editor is that nothing displays here, but if you save it and look at the website, you will see that it is actually there. So this is just a little problem here, I guess, with Headway. In the CSS editor, let's go and change the background color. Now let's change the height and the width and the border radius. the line height, 
the font size and of course the color. To center everything, we can use headway CSS styling here, which is pretty easy. Now for the hover state, we can make the background change colour by simply using the pseudo class hover and adding a background colour of black. Now when we click anywhere on the icon, we get a hover state and a link to the page we need. So that's the end of my tutorial, thanks for watching and if you need any additional help please feel free to leave a comment below. If you want to catch more tutorials like this then subscribe to my channel and if you want one on one tutoring you can of course reach me on my website, my rates are affordable and you can of course record our sessions for later playback. So thanks for tuning in and I will see you later, bye!